Lucas comes back the other way. Rejects the screen, goes along the baseline while two flies get in each other's way and Newcastle smuggle it out. Newcastle team seem very locked in here. And there we go, hasn't wasted any time. JJ, you're in a hostile environment, you want to try and get easy baskets going to the hoop uh, to get your guys going. Here's Johnson, steps back top of the key. Oh, oh tough shot from JJ. At the end of the day, your leader is willing to get on the floor and make those um, gritty plays. Here's another look at that shot from It's at this end of the floor that Bristol are struggling. Can Bradley get to? Not quite. Out to Orlison, lines up the triple, splashes out. They needed it. Wasting no time. Uh, it's almost like it's a bit of a danger if it comes a little too easy to them too early. Here's Olison again for his second three. He's dangerous. I told you. The new cowboy in town, Tio. Love it. Love it. And suddenly we are level at 12 points apiece. Green trying to get those three back, and he can't. Smith with the rebound. And the Flyers, well, turn it over, and uh, an easy one to bring to an end, that 8 nothing run. There's just a lot of talent, you know, especially in those playoff spots, especially in those playoff spots. Those lower, great steal there. Austin knocking it loose, running the floor, that's what he does so effectively. Johnson trying to get it to Green, that's not the angle to throw it in, though. I was just thinking to myself, the big fella hadn't touched it in a couple of possessions. Big time three there. Yeah. Austin almost stole it off him. Delpesh able to recover. Across to Bradley. Bradley has a lane to the ring. Bradley! Oh my goodness, right through Delpesh for the finish. Wow! <laughs> Two free throws. Let's have another look at this one. You can see he's got one thing on his mind. Delpesh, I think he blocked. Oh, Newcastle continuing to struggle from the free throw line. Olison misses everything, falls down to Green, and Olison didn't stand in the corner. And well, that was uh, wasn't expecting that. Wasn't, wasn't. But this is the British Basketball League. Expect the unexpected. Nice pass underneath, and oh, Winfield nice. able to score. Johnson in with the big boys. Has it knocked away? Kick forward. Well, they had numbers for a moment. Here's Keedy Johnson taking it hard to the rim through the contact. Virginians, they love it too. Jeez. Big time play from Keedy on that one. Well, Whitfield just got caught in two months. The scoreboard and the halftime team talk can be huge. Nice follow and jammed in. There's Johnson again. A word or two. It's a great follow from him. Ah. Uh. See, that's what I used to do. That's what I used to do. Oh, Dan, I don't know what we expected. I have no idea what we wow. expected. Great steal. Um, Johnson's doing everything right he's now. He's doing it all. Still uh, could do with some improving from the three-point line, these two teams. Austin driving hard to the whole beach. Big shout out to A. Their biggest lead of the contest so far. He's giving them that whole side to work. And work he does all the way to the rim, Jordan Johnson. I love it. It's one of those things where it's easy to see how he becomes popular with the fan bases wherever he plays. Jacob for three. And leaves that one short. I don't know if it's a little contact on that, maybe. Is Jordan Johnson driving hard to the hole? That drops. It's incredible. There he is again. Chance for an M1. JJ. <laughs> El Conductor is conducting. We love it. We love it. That's it. This is your... Johnson for three. Rims out. Rebound green. Hooks it back in and brings to an end those 14 straight points. It's the lack of movement. The lack of movement. That's, that's the problem I have. Great shot. Okay, Tio. What do I know? Here on that right side. Oh, Delpesh in the corner. Pedrillo! He's oh, banked goodness. it! He has banked it. Big time shot. Well, you can see what it means there. Delpesh with the triple. Well, over uh, 100 games in Malcolm Del Delpesh's career. Oh, he made three, so. Um. <laughs> make more than three, surely. Oh, no, not in the British basketball league. Oh, well, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you that, yeah. Lucas back to Smith, he can knock down the three, and he does knock down the three, and suddenly it's a five-point game. 
A game of up and downs. <laughs> this has been the discussion all game. It certainly has. It's definitely an up right now for the Bristol Flyers. Todd Green underneath, and he jams in the first points of the fourth quarter. Smith. Smith hard to the hole, he finishes. Foul time. is called, basket is good. With uh, a lineup that big, but Todd Green found room along the baseline to line up. They've got out there, really. Smith and Green and Thomas Edwards and Carilli in defense. They need a bit of that for sure. Gill was too far under there. And it's run back and laid in. And out of nowhere, Bristol have tied the scores. Lucas strings the three, and the scores are level at 70 points apiece. These teams have been so close. Green doing a great job to deny Defoe, but Austin gets the rebound. It has to go up here. Defoe needs to shoot. It gets it away in time, and Darius Defoe beats the buzzer. There is Brad Green. Nice pass. And sneaking along the back door. He's... There is Brad Green. Nice pass. And sneaking along the back door is Levi Bradley. Johnson creates some space for the three and he knocks it's it down. Time. Katie Johnson, his first triple of the game, he'd missed five. And it ended up 14-2. That's off to Bristol. They've done a great job, I think, of keeping this crowd out of it. And Hollison Woo! hits the three, two in a row for the Flyers. It's a great find. Great find across the court by Keady for Gill on the left side of the floor. So, you know, be aware. Oh, it's a lovely little dump off to Defoe instead, and he finishes. Rasp by Austin. Johnson driving in, bump foul. Oh, what a finish! Katie Johnson! And not only is it an M1, but it's fouled Darius Defoe out of the game. Oh, that's a big time moment. Well, there's 100 seconds for Newcastle to scramble out of this five-point hole. Keady Johnson, top of the key. He's been doing it all fourth quarter here. What are you doing with this, <laughs> you know? Um, you know, but just the lack of focus in certain situations as Gill knocks down the three. It right. just puts them in bad situations. It certainly does, but a great comeback from the Bristol Flyers with a monster fourth quarter. They scored 37 points.